Do not be afraid, bonded one. I am just a shadow, a whisper of what once was. Before the fall, when this kingdom raised knighted pillars of black stone to the sky, I was called the Archivist. Have you come to seek a way free of the bonding bracelet, human? There is only one chance, and a very slim one at that. You must assemble the items of power that were present at its creation. The diadem of the giant kings, the mask of the witch queen, the tears of two races, the star of the champion, the heart of the sands, the shining trapezohedron, and the Serpent Ring of Set. I fear I set you an impossible quest, human. The diadem of the Giant Kings was once worn upon the brow of the Priest King. He fell in battle with Tyros, the Deathbringer, in the battlefields of the North. More than that, I cannot say. The Priest King was the most passionate and most volatile among us. I fear his downfall will not have been a simple matter. The Witch Queen of Lemuria was our great enemy in the dying days of our race. Her people came to us as refugees, but even as they took our succor, they plotted our downfall. She was present at the creation of the bracelet, lending her power to ours. Her fate is unknown to me. But she always ruled from her city in the swamp to the east. The tears of two races were simple to obtain when we performed the ritual. We simply took our tears and combined them. But who is left to weep for both races? Although tales persist of Tyros the Deathbringer, he was born of both races. Our blood mingled with theirs. Perhaps his tears could be enough to fulfill the requirement. Obtaining them would be quite the feat. The Star of the Champion lies buried beneath the sands of the arena in the east. I remember well the day that Tyros killed the mighty dragon. He wept to defeat such a noble creature. He placed the star upon its brow. As far as I know, there it remains. The Heart of the Sands, or simply the Scourge Stone, was an artifact of power. The Priest King used it to create a weapon, the Sandstorm, that he swore would be our salvation. He gave it to the Warmaker, 
to unleash upon our enemies. As far as I know, it was destroyed in the attempt. Perhaps the Warmaker has more insight. The Serpent Ring of Scent. It was our most powerful artifact. It was kept in a tomb beneath this city. And then one day, a human came. He had all the words and signs of power. He passed through every ward and trap we had put in place. He took the Serpent Ring of Scent, and he left. If you wonder why you wear the bracelet, wonder no more. It must have been this man who called himself Tohamon. Dedicate yourself to recovering the other artifacts. You will not recover the Serpent Ring of Set as long as you are trapped in this empire. Perhaps, perhaps it will be enough. When you have the artifacts, you must place them on the receptacle north of here. Once you have filled this vessel with the artifacts of power, it will create a keystone. To remove your bracelet, all that is required is to touch it with the keystone. And then, mortal, you will be free. But freedom will mean giving up all that these lands have come to offer you. So choose wisely. To know is to live, human. What have you brought me? How did I die? Have you come to seek a way free of the bonding bracelet? There is only one chance, and a very slim one at that. One must assemble the items of power that were present at its creation. The diadem of the giant kings, the mask of the witch, the tears of two races, the star of the champion. The heart of the sands, the shining trapezohedron, and the serpent ring of sand. I think I 